my God, Suvi. Yo, what's there with y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Urban Review. Shout out to everybody that's watching the full videos from start to finish, man. Much love to y'all. Now, wait a minute now. We got a time jump in the show, fool. We got some new actresses stepping up to the plate now, bro. Go ahead, grab your pressure meal and enjoy the video, fool. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment at the end of the video. Now, let's get straight into it. We get an open scene of Renera, the pressure plate, delivering a baby. Now, in my previous videos, I wasn't really worried about Renera like that. But who put a baby in her? We know later the fruit didn't do it. Hey, you know what? My bad, bro. Because I don't want this video to get the same hate that I did in that later vid. Screw me. After Renera's delivery, we see one of the servants come in talking about the queen requested the baby to be brought to her. Renera says, I'll take the baby myself and starts getting dressed, man. Look who came through the door, bro. It's my dog. I can't really say that no more, fool. If you want to know how I feel about Laner, fool, just go ahead and tap in on my Laner V. I ain't catching no... Man, we going to... I'm not catching no nothing on this vid right here. Let me get back to it, bro. Renera tells Laner and says, come on with me and see. And starts dragging her umbilical cord out her dress. Look at Renera barely making it this year, man. Laner had to hold her by her shoulders for her to make it all the way over there. You know, Allison should have came down there to look at that baby. But of course, there was a deeper intention behind this, man. The two walk through the queen's quarters. Wait, how long, bro? This Alice. Hey, look at look at look at Allison right here, bro. Hashtag pressure plate, fool. Allison acts surprised and says, "What are you doing here, Renera? You supposed to be resting." Then my dog King Viserys crawls in half dead, talking about, "Where is he? Where is the baby?" My dog King Viserys don't look good, bro. I look like he be foaming out the mouth in his sleep and shit, man. While Viserys is enjoying his newborn grandson, Allison walks over there to Lanner, talking about, "Maybe if you keep trying, you'll get one that looks like you." I ain't not Allison. Don't be saying nothing weird like that now. That was rude for sure. Or maybe she knew something that they thought she didn't know now. Wait a minute. Ain't that baby Sarah supposed to be silver? Allison walks back over there to the series and gives them a fake smile as they walk out. We get a scene cut. We see Renera and Lena arrive back to their chambers. We see two little boys with black hair talking about some mommy. And then we got my dog Sir Harwin in the back and shit, man. Wait a minute, bro. Then Renera talking about Sir Harwin wishes to be introduced to Joffrey. Wait, wait, wait. Laner named that baby Joffrey after his lover, the man who done died in that last episode. Every time I see Laner and shit, I always remember the error moment I had in that fucking video. Excuse me. Let me just focus on Sir Harwin and shit, man. Sir Harwin was holding that baby like he the one that put it in Renera and every other child in that room. No spoilers. We get a scene cut. We see Allison walk into her son, Aegon, doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Can't put it in a YouTube video. Now, this was the first episode I've seen Allison and she kind of lose her marbles a little bit. She immediately hits Aegon with the, do you think Rhaenyra's son's going to be your friends forever and she Manipulated her oldest son to hate his family and shit, man. Now, that's for sure Oda Hightower's daughter right there, man. Allison explains Renera will ascend the throne and her oldest son will be her heir. Aegon kind of has an attitude and says, man, that had nothing to do with me and shit, man. I'm not next up. Then Allison grabs his face and says, you are the challenge. You're the king's first son and all this other shit, bro. What's wrong with her? Well, we know it's shit, bro. It's Odo Hightower and shit, man. He trained her up and she to be like this. He wants his blood on that iron throne. We get a scene cut, we see Damon Targaryen and Lena Valerian having dinner in Pentos with some lords. Look at, look, look, look at Lena right here, bro. Lena Valerian, bro. Lord, I thank you, man. I ain't even mad they had some, look at the daughters right there next to her. I ain't even mad she had kids with Damon Targaryen. Look at how pretty she is, man. They did a great job with the time jump they had in this show, bro. Now this fit, I ain't gonna say it. Now, this Pentos Lord is standing up in front of them trying to get them to stay so they can use their dragons. He's offering a residence in that castle, riches, anything they want. Damon's at that table just smirking and shit, man. Lena steps up to the plate and says, we're just travelers. I appreciate it, though. Then Damon grabs her hand on some, you better be quiet, shit. We get a scene cut. We see Lena approach Damon during his studies. Damon starts to justify his reasons on why he wants to stay there and everything just to shut her up. Lena tells Damon, we're more than this. And also, I like to have my kids back at Driftmark. 
She had two daughters and another child on the way, so she was pregnant. She wanted this request granted, for sure. Damon just kisses her belly and looks at her for her to walk off. I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of funny the way he looked at her and shit, but it's the wrong woman to be doing that weird walk. We could have seen Cubby see Lena having childbirth complications. I, I, I hope not. Hey, look, go ahead and just do it right, doctor. Doctor, Co assure me you'll be able to get that baby out without killing her, fool. We know what happened in episode one in House of the Dragon and shit, fool. Miss Lady hanging off the bed, screaming and crying and shit, man. Damon on the corner just looking at her and shit. They ain't having nothing to say, no emotional support or nothing, fool. Lena gets up with the baby hanging out of her and walks outside and shit. We see her dragging a sleeve and she crawls to it, talking about Dracaris or whatever the fuck she says. Her dragon opens his throat and blazes her down, man. What type of medical treatment did you think that was going to do? You only see this lady for about three, four minutes and she, now she burnt up somewhere. That lady was too fine to be getting burnt off the show like that. Now I'm over here burning in my chest and shit, man. Let me go ahead and end this episode right here and shit, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, and catch y'all the next fucking one. Excuse me. And this message is for my AI and shit. Don't be telling these folks I'm apologizing because I ain't did that shit at one time and shit. Excuse me. But already, y'all stay blessed, though. I don't even feel right saying that right now. Y'all stay blessed, man. I'm going to see you. Used to laugh when I were funny. I had to give you some money. Shit. I had to give me some money. Give me some money. No nigga, I ain't tryna be a friend. Bring me some money. I had to give me some money. Fuck my brother. Give me some money.